Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. Do you want to make your bar charts in Power BI not just informative but also engaging? In this video, I'm going to show you how to display dynamic and contextual labels right above your bars that do more than just show numbers. We'll add labels like stable growth or excellent growth or decline based on their performance along with these emojis to make it more engaging. With a bit of DAX and creativity, you can turn boring bars into insightful stories your audience will actually remember. Let's dive in and level up your visuals. Let's start building our visual. I'm going to add the clustered bar chart into our report page and then bring in the category onto my Y axis. And then I'm going to bring in the total sales measure that I have created here, which is a basic calculate sum of sales amount. The, drag this into my X axis here. I have the basic clustered bar chart created here and now I'm going to create a new measure I'm just going to call this as dummy is equals to zero enter and then I'm going to bring in the dummy measure that I just created into my x-axis make sure the dummy measure is on the top what happens is when you move your dummy measure on the top, you will have your labels appearing on the top. But if you have your dummy measures at the bottom, you will have labels appearing below the bar here, right? So if you want to have the labels on top of the bar, make sure your dummy measure is on the top here. And let's head to the format tab and let's go back into my bars here. I'm going to choose the total sales here because I want to change back the color here to this particular dark green. And now let's start working on this and let's head over to the data labels and let's turn the data labels on. You will see that our total measures here is being displayed for the year 2021 on my x-axis for the bakery bar. And the other dummy measure that I have here, the zero value is being displayed because we've assigned the value zero here to this particular measure. Before I start creating a label to display above the bar, I also have a measure created here, which is basically calculating my sales last year percentage. And I'm going to be using this particular measure here. So let's start creating a new measure. And I'm going to call this as, let's call this as dynamic label is equals to, and let's start by defining a variable. I'm going to define the year over year variable here and assign the sales last year percentage value to this. And on the next line, I'm going to define another variable here. Let's call this variable as label is equals to, and I will be using a switch statement here. And within this switch statement, let's use the true expression. And on the next line, we'll start defining the values. If my year over year percentage is greater than 40 then this needs to return a particular expression I'm going to open double quotes here and I'm going to type in the windows and dot or full stop here which will basically bring up this particular dialog box here where you can select the emojis I'm going to choose the rocket emoji that I have here to define excellent growth I'm going to say excellent growth and then close the quotes followed by an ampersand here and then I would like to display the actual value of that particular percentage and once this is done followed by an ampersand open quotes again give it a space and then type in keep up the momentum I'm going to press the windows and full stop again and this time I'm going to choose a different emoji I'm going to use the flexed biceps emoji here and then close the quotes and then followed by a comma. So now we're going into the value too. And now I'm going to just copy the entire line that I have here, paste it again. And if this is greater than zero, then I want to say this is stable growth. So I'm going to type in windows dot again. And here I have, and when I type in growth here, I have these two emojis. I'm going to use this chart increasing emoji that I have here and then replace my excellent here with stable growth. And then I would like to display the percentage again and then say room to accelerate, right? And then on the next line, I'm going to simply copy this code again, paste it over here. And if this is less than zero, in the interest of time, I've basically pasted this particular line here, which says if your if your over year is less than zero, then say decline and display the percentage and say investigate the drop. And now once this is done, I'm going to close the bracket here for the switch statement. And then I'm going to say return the label and then click on confirm. Once this is done, 
we can now go back into our format tab and the data labels let's choose the dummy that measure that we created and let's go into the value section and in the value section we have this dummy field let's click on this data options that we have here and choose the measure that we just created which is dynamic label and boom we have the labels being displayed here right above the bar but there is a problem because the percentages are not appearing correctly so let's quickly go back into our dynamic label we will have to format the year over year label that we have instead of repeating the format function in all of these three places what i will do here is i'm going to define another variable call this as year over year underscore f which is formatted is equals to i'm going to say sales here and then format this and then say followed by a comma open quotes 0.00, .00 percentage close the quotes close the brackets let's replace all of the year over year here with year over year f which is formatted and then click on confirm let's go back we just use the format function once but the same formatting is now being applied to all of our conditions so this is how you smartly use the variables and now we can see that all of the labels are being displayed here let's do some more formatting so this particular value that we have i want this to appear in bold and now they are appearing in bold you can also increase the size here if you would like nine looks good and now another thing that you can do here is change the label color based on the percentages so let's do that i'm going to define another measure let's call this as label underscore color is equals to i'm going to say if my last year percentage is greater than zero then return a particular hex code which is a green and if this is less than zero then return a red and then i'm going to click on confirm now let's go back into our format pane under data labels i'm going to choose the dummy measure that i have here and click let's click on this fx button under value and from the gradient from the format style i'm going to choose field value and from this particular drop down here i'm going to go to the measure label and choose the measure that we just created which is label color and now you can see that all of the positive values are appearing in green whereas the declines here are appearing in red and now if i select a different year you can see that the declines here in bakery and beverages is being highlighted and saying investigate drop and you can change the context and you can change the labels here based on your needs and requirements you can it is up to your creativity how you bring in more information and insights to display to your end users when i select 2024 here you see that i don't have any values here for bakery eggs meat and fish and for beverages and food grains it has excellent growth and says keep up the moment and some of the other things that we can do here is basically go back into your x-axis turn off the values because we don't need them also turn off the title let's also go into the y-axis here and turn off the title we also don't need the legend here so that our chart now looks clean and just the information that we need and that's how you can turn simple bar charts into powerful story-driven visuals in Power BI just by customizing your data labels. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Power BI tips like this one. And if you've got your own creative label ideas, drop them in the comments. I would love to see what you come up with. Until next time, keep building dashboards that speak louder than numbers.